All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. It is time for another video. So say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man, Log TV and Choo Choo. And let's get started on the Knives Fast channel. So this is the Knives Fast channel and you're saying, KC, you already reviewed that knife. Well, this is the Knives Fast channel and we're gonna try to do some more creative content because uh, yeah, I just need uh, some, some, some injection of energy and fun. And so we're gonna try a comparison here. Guys, definitely make sure you're subscribed. You've hit that notification bell and you check me out knives fast over on instagram all right so this is the qsp canary this came to me uh from my buddy justin over at white mountain knives definitely check him out uh and use that code knives fast for 10 percent off and free shipping don't forget that but um really cool little knife again i found a couple of little things that kind of bugged me about it but overall really cool little edc knife good and grippy very light and cool. Now, I thought it would be kind of fun uh, to do some more comparisons with this one. Um, so I thought it was interesting to me, the shape of it reminded me a bit of this guy. Um, and it's funny that I got a blue one and a blue one. Uh, so you've got the uh, Wii Banter, the original Banter. Uh, you have thumb studs. You have kind of a spear point blade. You've got blue G10. You don't have, uh, you know, speed holes and you don't have a chamfer, but you uh, you do have a lanyard hole. This one does not have a reversible clip. This one does. Um, and uh, so let's, let's talk about that, but let's add another one to the mix. So we've also got another Ben Peterson design, Ben from NAFS. Uh, this is Ben Banters. This is the NAFS lander so i thought these would be really cool uh to kind of compare and contrast now we're not going to go super deep into specs and different things i do have my scale over here because i think weight and size are the two most important things in this discussion um, and you can see size wise they're roughly the same now let's talk about this first so you can see um the the lander would be the one with the least tall scales okay now let's just see on these two how about that they're almost exactly the same you can see there's a little more scale uh can you see that it's hard i'm sorry uh down here so at the butt end of the knife there's a little more here and a little more here but other than that these guys are super close height wise the blades are almost identical um yeah i mean can you see that the blades are almost identical size wise the handles are almost identical size wise um i think that's very interesting now here's where we're a little bit different um so you can see can you see yeah you can the canary is just slightly thinner um it, and it also has that chamfer uh on the edges here so you've got chamfer here chamfer here uh and just a real slight chamfer here but a much larger so this kind of feels a little thinner in the hand but they're really not that much different now you have inset liners on both but you have more milling here with this with the great big hole so my guess is this one's going to be closer to three and a half because this is like 2.7 or something like that but we'll get to scale up here in a minute studs uh, very close to the same. Now, these are more in the cutting path. These are kind of back from the cutting path. Um, and you can see that now. Again, um, thickness is not that much difference, but just slightly. I mean, look, we have barrel spacers. We have, I mean, very similar knives. Very, very similar. Now, I'm not even sure. Now, these are definitely available at White Mountain. I'm not sure about the banter. I would assume it is still available. Now, let's talk about the lander. So, thickness-wise, the Canary and the lander are very similar. Uh, very similar. And these particular scales, this came from Urban EDC. These are the contour. Now, you guys know this actually came with the Sagaiha pattern scales, but those were flat. And so, KC is always going to choose... Uh, even if they don't look quite as good, I'm always going to choose the contour. These are very nice contoured scales. You do have a reversible clip. You do not have a lanyard hole on this one, but you know, you could probably fish your lan lanyard through uh, this hole here of the clip. 
Um, again, studs, your studs are back further on the, and you have a little bit of a fatter tip to this one with no swedge to kind of bring that down. So here's your comparison uh, here as well. Now this, this doesn't have a swedge on the banter, so you can see these are more similar, but again, the um, the Naft Slander is a much thinner knife, thinner on the, the, not as tall is what I'm trying to say, on the blade or the handle. So really interesting. Now let's get, um, uh, let's just do a couple of things here. All right, where did I put it? Where did I put it? There it is. All right, so you can see uh, these are all going to be about six and a half inches. All right, so let's see. So uh, this one's coming up at about six and a quarter. And I believe the, the yeah, six and a half. So these top two are six and a half. And the bottom one is like six and a quarter. So they're very similar size-wise. Now let's see what we've got. Let's get our friendly neighborhood scale out here. Uh, again, I think we're talking really marginal differences here. So this is going to be your heaviest, in my opinion. So, oh boy, that's not much, though. That's less than I thought. 2.82. 2.61. This is very marginal. This is going to be, yeah, 2.36. So again, smaller. So definitely going to be lighter. Interesting. So they're very similar weight wise. Now, um, when I bought, let's we'll do a search here in just a second. This is a forty-two dollar knife. Uh, this guy from Urban EDC. Now, if you just again don't, I'm just using the one I have. So let's just go NAFs, um, and we're going to look up availability and price. Um, so this is $42, but again, if you watched my review, there's a little bit of a kind of grindy spot there. I, I think that'll go away with time. Um, watch that review, and that'll tell you what I'm talking about. Um, but the lander, oh man, I'm finding all that. Here we go. The plain G10 and D2. Oh, we haven't talked about steel yet. So again, this particular one is S35. So the banter has got the highest end steel. Actually, no. This particular lander is M390. But again, this one was well over 100 bucks. Um, and then this guy has 14C. So they're not completely comparable, but let's just go down to... Uh, so the lander... If you get the flat scaled lander in G10 and D2, it's $58. So now you're at $42.58. Um, and again, you can buy extra scales for these. Uh, there's also a lander on uh, Ben Peterson's website, NAFS. Uh, I believe it's got contoured scales and 14C for $80. So that's another option as well. So let me look up uh, the Wee Banter now and see if we can find... Uh, I, I have got to believe this is a regular stock item. Uh, and all right, here we go. Here's one. Well, that's a, uh, I'm trying to find a G10 one. Here we go. Uh, so, all right, come on. Don't disagree with me. So actually, Amazon has this one. That's about what I paid. I think I paid like $100 to $105 S35VN and G10. So those are 106 So that's going to be our most expensive of the three. I'm just gonna look one more place. Uh, Amazon might be the lowest, but I just wanted to look and see if I see it anywhere else. Now there's also a large banter and there's also a baby banter. So there are three different versions. Now that micarta one on Blade HQ of that is um, $110 and the wood one is 113 and again, G10, there's actually, um, they're none available uh, on uh, Blade HQ. So, interesting. So, again, uh, G10 and 14C, $42. And if you get the G10 and D2 version, this is $58. Or if you get the G10 and um, uh, 14C, this one is $79. Uh, this one is right around $110. Um, so, I think... Really interesting. Again, they're very comparable. It just depends. I mean, again, materials are always going to change the price. Um, but I thought this was an interesting video. So 
let me know am i am i way off is this like the most boring video you've ever watched or is this something you're interested in <coughs> i would love to do more comparison videos as i have comparable knives in uh the channel so let me know what you guys think which one would you pick or would you get all three again these are smaller knives so great secondaries in my opinion again you may find them as a primary but for me these are secondary so give me a thumbs up comment down below uh let me know uh you know what you like and like comment subscribe notification bell and thanks for watching the knives fast channel